A report of a burglary in an upscale Fort Lauderdale neighborhood turns into a police chase that came to a crashing halt in Pompano Beach during evening rush hour. Tonight, we're learning more about the suspect who police say was behind the wheel of a stolen Corvette. CBS 4's Ty Russell is in the Victoria Park section of Fort Lauderdale tonight with the details. Ty. Well, Rudabay and Elliot, yes, we are in that neighborhood tonight where police say this all started. But after talking to several neighbors around here, I was a little bit shocked because they said they never knew anything had ever happened here. However, tonight, police are telling us that more charges may be on the way for that suspect. Police sirens can be heard on this cell phone video. It captured the moments 33 year old Stephen Nitch was arrested in Pompano Beach after a chase. This is an old mugshot when the suspect was in prison for burglary and grand theft, among other charges, in 2015 to the following year. He fell. He almost got away, though. I thought he was going to get away, but he fell. And when he fell, it was over. Chopper 4 was overhead along busy Atlantic Boulevard after Nitch exited I-95 in a Corvette. He then turned onto Northwest 6th Avenue. A police SUV then caused the car to spin. Nitch hopped out and took off running on the side of a Snapper's Fish and Chicken restaurant. But moments later, he was on the ground with about a dozen officers around him. You never expect that on a normal day, you know, sitting there in the park on your phone, you know, scrolling on Facebook. Or whatever, and all of a sudden I just hear helicopters and sirens. Police say the chase started in a Fort Lauderdale neighborhood in the area of Northeast 15th Street and 18th Avenue around 5 Wednesday evening. Police received reports of a stolen vehicle and a burglary with people inside. The chase ended nearly seven and a half miles away. Where the Corvette was towed away, and all of this left people nearby in shock. I tried to go in that building right now, but they went on lockdown immediately. And then, yeah, it was pretty crazy. And then all these cars, helicopters came out of nowhere. And currently, the suspect is facing multiple charges, including running away from police, burglary, and for a st stealing a car. Now, he does have a long rap sheet. We looked through records, and he has arrests dating back to at least 2008. His most recent arrest was back in April for having drug paraphernalia and grand theft. Well, you're live tonight in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.